Last time you've seen the open source tractor and the compressed earth block press working together. This time we'll continue documenting the tractor with the quick attach plate. The first quick attachment is the loader bucket itself. The second is the open source rototiller. Now we're ready for effective CB construction. In this episode we'll also document how we made the biodiesel reactor. We also produced more solar panels and other fruits at Factory Farm. Preparing a quick connect plate for the front end loader. First quick attachment, hot off the press. It's the completed quick attach. Next. And here's the quick attach plate. These are the quick connect plates for the loader. That's how gonna they're, that's how gonna, they're gonna match up to the quick coupler. Front end loader mounting plates ready to be welded to the loader. The mouse nest caught on fire inside the welder. Hmm. Here's what we do to release the bucket. And it's off. Tiller frame decomposes into a bunch of metal and some bolts. Beginning on the rototiller frame here. Transfer punching holes. Tiller in progress. Beginning of the tiller tines. Here's a set of tiller tines. Here's the hydraulic motor mounted on the tiller. Quick coupler and hose here. Final product ready for life track. Trying to hook up to the rototiller there on the left. We're cooking up the edges of the solar panels. Testing the third panel. What's the result here? Well, 19 volts and 0.8 amps. How much power does it give us? About seven and a half watts of power. Unveiling the fifth panel. 0.5 We've got about amps. half an amp on a cloudy day, cold and cloudy day and 19 volts. Here we're preparing our biodiesel setup. This is the master control system. Little detail, garden hose contraption for a link to the pump. It actually works. Either a doomsday device or a biodiesel machine. So we've got a settling tank with a view hose here so you can check and make sure your oil is settled out and all the gunk will be at the bottom. And then it'll run up through this one into the heating chamber slash reactor chamber. We've got a little element 
There's a standard submersible heating element that eventually will be wired in here to heat it up to a temperature of about, I don't know, 110, 120 degrees Fahrenheit. <coughs> Run it through the pump to uh, circulate that after we've added our alcohol and lye mixture. So then we'll circulate that through the pump a few times, let the reaction take place for how long? For two hours with the heat and then overnight for, se for separating out the, the biodiesel from the, uh, the glycerin, glycerin byproduct. Mm -hmm. So we have glycerin and other impurities on the bottom. Close that off and we'll just drain that straight through the bottom there. Yeah. Impurities into this bottom drain. After that's done, we'll run it back through the pump to this hose. Or it'll pump around there. Pump around into final fuel tank. And final have... fuel tank right here for about a 50 gallon batch of biodiesel at a time. I got hungry for some sweet potatoes, so these are the first ones that I dug up from our garden. Here we have one of our not so pleasant chores. Oh yeah. Nice. Yeah, I'm going to do a scuffle with some raccoons here. Heavy rains. Here's our drainage, a river through the middle of our forest. I look forward to CB construction in the next episode.